What up, what up, what up? What's going on, guys? Your boy Jess. Welcome back to another Madden 25 uh, Ultimate Team gameplay. This right here was a coin game. Not much. Of, I think it was like, <laughs> like 3,500 or something like that. You know, uh, even though I'm sitting at like 2.3 million coins, you know, you still got to have budget games out there. This was, you know, during the live stream. So, you know, I got to have, you know, cheap coin games. That way people who don't have a lot of coins to get an opportunity to play and uh, embarrass me in front of everybody in live stream. So, uh, as usual, you know, uh, when you got Jamal Charles, man, you want to run the ball. Uh, he's so explosive. The only problem is, I say this a lot, is that he gets tired so quickly. After like two plays, he's already yellow. Like He's already tired. You know, like right here, we got uh, Marshall Falcon because after two runs, Jamal Charles is already tired. So that's the only downfall to him. I know a lot of people tell me to get uh, 99 Barry Sanders because the stamina is like 98 or something like that. But for me, there's no need. You know what I mean? Um, I'm perfectly fine with Jamal Charles and, you know, putting in, you know, Marshall Falk for a player or two. Um, I don't have any issues with that. So uh, we pick up the first down on that fourth down out route, and then we do eventually end up scoring on a HB. I think that was a draw. So we're up 7-0, and uh, hopefully we can go on ahead and, you know, provide a little bit of defense and hopefully, uh, you know, get out to that multiple possession lead and make things happen, baby. Now, for like the last three streams, yo, it's crazy because I've been losing coin. Well, I, I always send the invite, so I'm 99% of the time I'm always home unless there's an issue where people can't accept invites and they invite me. Um, right there, just beautiful play by him over the top. I had my safety in a yellow zone instead of a light blue and uh, beat me over the top, so good job by him. Um, I've been losing coin tosses. Well, they've been winning coin tosses for like the last three streams, man. It's, it's crazy. Uh, so he does get ball at halftime. So uh, that right there is a very important thing, you know what I mean? So uh, I got to, you know, pay attention to, uh, you know, clock management when it gets close to halftime. So uh, here we go, running the ball after that first down again. We give it back to Jamal Charles. And like I said, he's very explosive. He falls forward a lot. Um, he, he's got good carrying, you know, um, he's fumbled for me, of course, every running back has, you know, but uh, for the most part, I've seen him take a pounding, and uh, he's he's pretty reliable on being able to hold the ball. Uh, right here, roll outside the pocket, man, just try to throw it out of bounds, and then I got hit as I was winding up. Fourth and forever, we're like YOLO. <laughs> we're going for it, and we hit it with the L route, and we end up going, it's FMBO! We go to Larry Fitzgerald, and I got murdered as soon as I caught the ball. Just, ah, man, absolutely destroyed me. And uh, he picks up the loose ball. And uh, now I'm like, okay, he gets the ball at halftime. He's got ball now. This this can be a bad situation. All right, he throws it. Except Sean Taylor brings the limber. That man absolutely knocked him out of his cleats. I'm telling y'all, he is the best player in Madden defensively. Look at Kaepernick, good, go, oh, yeah, oh, don't be here, don't be here, as we go into the end zone on the read option, going up 14 to 7, that right there was big, but he's still in cruise control right here, you know what I mean, uh, he's still got a good opportunity to make the game in his favor, you know, he can score here, get ball at halftime, score again, then he has the lead, and, uh, you know, that's the situation where I hopefully don't find myself in. Sean Taylor jarring the ball loose, forcing incomplete pass. I'm telling y'all, man. It's a bad, bad. Another fumble. His fumble's left and right in this game. Um, there's a lot of, uh, you know, good defensive players out there. But let me tell you, man, Sean Taylor is a goon. I can't speak highly enough of how that card plays. Uh, right there, man, we score another touchdown, 21-7. But same situation as was before, except instead of having the lead, he still has a chance to go ahead and, you know, tie this game with back-to-back -back possessions as long as he doesn't make any mistakes. So a little over a minute remaining, man. He rolls out, and uh, he definitely was doing a good job of being able to roll out by himself some more time and being able to uh, find open receivers and things like that. And th that's frustrating, man. Whenever you feel like you got, you know, good defense, you feel like you got your... Um, your uh, opponents, you know, reads down, you know, you're doing a good job of defending them. And then he just rolls out, you know, and starts rerouting players and then finds somebody open. Like, oh, that, those are frustrating, man, when, when you feel like your pressure wasn't there to, to get there, even though you had good coverage. And uh, he seemed to do that a lot, you know, just roll out and find guys. Uh, like right there, I don't know how we got that ball off. I still, in the stream, I was wowed. As I was editing the video, I was wowed. Like he was able to stop. 
Because if he threw that on the run, most likely that wouldn't have been a complete pass. If you rewind it and look at it closely, he literally stopped, wind up, and threw the ball accurately all within like a millimeter of a second. Like, I know, I don't think millimeter and, you know, time go together, but you guys know what I mean. You know, uh, a millisecond, I should say. It was crazy how he just wind, he stopped, wound up, and threw the ball without, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Right there, he catches me napping. He goes for a fake PAT, and that right there was extremely frustrating, man, that he caught me napping like that because, um, you know, he does get ball at halftime, and now instead of tying the game up, you know, he has the potential to take the lead, and that right there is, you know, that sucks. You know what I mean? Like, so uh, my fault for getting caught snoozing. So uh, hopefully we can go on ahead and, you know, not let that happen. You know what I mean? So as you guys see the title, you know, I was struggling a lot this game, and so was he. Just a, a lot of struggling going back and forth. Our defense, maybe our defense was playing too good or our offense was playing too bad. Maybe a combination of both. I don't know. Right here, man, he rolls out with Geno Smith. Uh, dies forward, makes it a manageable fourth down situation. It's a fumble. another fumble. Sean Taylor forces another fumble and recovered it. I'm telling y'all, that man is a goon. Right here, just my fault, you know, can't blame nobody but me. Like, instead of trying to run the ball, I come out five wide trying to pass. And uh, definitely, you know, my mistake. I should have tried running the ball right here. All I really need to do is get in field goal range at least to go on ahead and go up a couple possessions. Bad read by me. Just stupid throw. And I throw an interception. And now I'm like, what am I doing? I I'm not playing smart. I'm, I'm playing stupidly. You know, I'm keeping him, you know, in this ball game. Uh, we, we got a couple fumbles to go our way, and we haven't been able to put any points up, really. Um, well, last fumble, I should say. So, we're getting close to the fourth quarter. Third and eight right here. Uh, he backs up. Throws over the middle, and I had both guys in a uh, interception, interception animation, but nobody caught the ball. There he goes again, rolling out. Got rid of the ball just as he was about to get hit. Uh, second and ten right here. Uh, he drops back, rolls out. And, oh, it's a fumble! Another fumble, and that right there is the first time I've ever seen a hit stick on a on a sack like that. Like Gino got hit stick as if he was a running back or wide receiver. Like I've I've yet to see that animation. Just that straight up hit stick on a sack. Like he turned around, ran right into Alden Smith, and got destroyed right here. Another just a fadeaway bad throw by me. And again, I I cannot put this guy away you know every time you know my defense comes through and forces a, a turnover i'm unable to turn those into points and it's tough winning games being able to not capitalize right there don't test that user he is so disrespectful somebody please remind that gentleman that he got a link to my channel let him know do not throw the ball my way and now after that it's like, okay run the ball stop doing stupid passes Run the ball, get in field goal range. That right there guarantees us a two-possession lead, and we should be able to win the game from there. So right there, we are already in field goal range, so I, I feel safe. You know, outside of a fumble or a stupid pass, we should be okay. So he's starting to call his timeouts right here. He knows what's coming. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Little and Larry. We throw the Larry Fitzgerald in the back of the end zone, and we score, and we are up 28-15. to 15. And finally... After all those extra possessions that we got due to all those turnovers, we finally put some points on the board. Uh, right there, Sean Taylor in a deep blue still comes forward to make a play on that ball. I'm telling you, man, the winners and that guy is absolutely astronomically biblical. So there he goes again, running towards the outside. And like I said, it's it's frustrating. Definitely frustrating. Uh, right there, uh, we get a block shed towards the outside, but he still runs away. And, you know, I'm fine with that. You know, I'm not putting any extra spies up or anything. I'm up two possessions, you know what I mean? So... Um, him running like that, it's, it's following me right there. Balu Malu comes up with the pick. And that right there should be able to put this game away. Uh, right here, man, we back up. And I thought I, I had one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I did have one-on-one -on -one with Moss. I thought Moss was just going to be able to clearly outrun him. But uh, wrong. I believe, what was that, Patrick Peterson, I want to say? With like 96, 98 speed, whatever he got. Yeah, so it's not like he has that great of a speed advantage where he's able to just blatantly outrun him. Um, so he, he still has a, a shot in this game. Not much of a chance, but a chance is there. Um, he can kick a field goal or get a touchdown and kick an onside. But unfortunately for him, he throws right into coverage as Patrick Peterson to get an interception for us. Um, I lost the game the other day due to an onside. It was so frustrating, man. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't recording at the time. 
um, during the live stream, I was up like 13 with like, I don't know, no, I think I was up 10 with like a minute remaining. The guy scores, goes for an onside, he receives it, and then he scored a game when it touched. So frustrating, man. So thankfully, that wasn't the situation I had to be in. But that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.